We've all seen it. Police squad cars, even the personal vehicles of police officers parked on the sidewalk and in bus and bike lanes. Yeah, well, now the NYPD's chief of patrol says he is making it one of his top missions to crack down on this practice, and he was just pressed by a city council member to do just that. Yeah, Epic Sense Henry Rossoff has been around uh, today. Check it on the city and uh, has the story for us in Sunset Park. Yeah. Well, police sources are telling us that the word is very quickly spreading among the rank and file and precinct commanders file following really feisty exchange we were there for yesterday between the NYPD chief of patrol and a Brooklyn councilman with the chief of patrol promising to really crack down on this practice. We've been around today and really, to be honest, have not seen much of this bad sort of parking that New Yorkers somewhat come to expect. It would drive me insane. I would see a car literally parked on the sidewalk blocking people from walking. NYPD insane Chief of Patrol John Shell says 39 times in the last four months he has punished officers for parking illegally or obscuring their personal license plates. He says he's docking vacation days and leaving notes in personnel files. Plus, Shell says he sent out memos, made roll call announcements, and even got the police unions involved all to hold officers accountable for when they break parking rules, particularly around precincts with their personal vehicles and squad cars. His comments came in response to questioning by Brooklyn Councilman Lincoln Ressler, who says the efforts still don't go nearly far enough. I have never, ever not seen illegal parking in front of a precinct. I walk by them every single day. It is ubiquitous. The idea that there's any enforcement or accountability around this issue at all is a joke. So if this is a new I, I, endeavor I by the NYPD... I don't agree. I don't agree with that assessment whatsoever. It's not a joke, and I do take it seriously. And I welcome any time you walk in my one of those precincts to send me a picture, and I will deal with it ASAP. Wrestler, an avid bicyclist, says he's particularly concerned about vehicles that block bike lanes. The NYPD has failed to enforce against this widespread illegal activity. And if they're not going to even follow the, rule, the rules themselves, do you really think that they're going to enforce it against anybody else? We bounced around town today and saw squads and personal vehicles vehicles of officers generally parked in the spots marked for them. There was some sidewalk hopping around crowded precincts that made it a little harder for people to pass by. We did not observe any personal officer vehicles nor squad cars blocking bike lanes. We did see some lanes blocked routinely by other types of vehicles. The NYPD says it's aware of the issue. We've increased our enforcement 65 percent. So again, I understand your frustration, but I, I just won't accept the premise that we're not doing something about it. Wrestler is proposing a bill that would allow citizens to take pictures of all cars parked illegally, police or not, and then send those pics to the city so the registered owner could face a fine. Every single New Yorker should be able to take photos of illegally parked cars and for there to be real accountability. The NYPD did raise some concerns about that sort of citizen enforcement, noting that their traffic agents, at least dozens of them, generally get accosted each and every year, and they're marked. NYPD officers out there writing tickets. Councilman argues this would be a very different exchange. Citizen taking a picture from a half block away, not a sort of up close and personal and lingering thing that police do each and every day. He's pushing forward with his bill. Live in Sunset Park, Henry Rossoff, Pix 11 News.